Hello, today's uh, Smart Notebook tip is working with different layers and creating a very nice and simple interactive exercise to use with your students in the classroom. Uh, I have chosen for today um, countable and uncountable nouns. It's an ESOL topic if you teach ESOL, but if you're teaching a different course, uh, let's like say arts, uh, photography, uh, wh whatever course you are teaching, you can choose uh, your topics as long as uh, it is for selecting and choosing information. That's the point of this exercise. So what I'm going to do in the classroom with this is ask the students to come up to the board and select the words, one of the word here uh, in this group of words and they will have to select countable nouns and drag them into the box. So. What will happen, a student will come up to the board, will click on, for example, table, drag it into the box and it goes inside the box. That means that it is correct. And if a student pick, picks up uh, electricity and drags it in the box, nothing will happen. Well, it won't get in the box, it will go behind the box. So it means that it is incorrect. Um, so that's how you give uh, the students some feedback. So how did I do this? We can go to the page sorter and clone this page so we don't have to do everything again and we have the same kind of uh, things we need. So I will delete the box, click on it just and great arrow and press delete and we'll keep these words as we're going to use them again and we're going to insert a box. We use the image gallery. In this search box we type the type of image we want. We want a box. We write box, enter and click here on pictures and backgrounds and we select this box that was what was what we, we were looking at. So drag it, select and drag it into your notebook. Press on it and increase it like this using this circle in the bottom. That's one way of you doing it. Another way is just clicking on the image you want, click drop down menu and click on insert in notebook and you hear you here it is. The same box. Okay, we don't need this one. Press and delete. Now, how do you insert text? You go to A, insert the text, select the type of text you want, click in your notebook and write the word, for example, orange. Now click outside and select again the cursor and here it is. So you don't, you don't always have to go to insert text to write text. If you have already text written, um, you can use it. For example, we can click again on orange, drop down menu, and we clone it. We have again orange. And then it's just double clicking, selecting the whole word, and writing another word. And this way it will be the same size, same type of letter, everything. You don't have to change or format anything again. So they, they are all looking at the same. Now, how did I do the feedback thing? So if the student comes, this will go in front. So make sure that it will. it is in front. Just click on the word, click on drop down menu, then select order, then select bring to front. Okay, so it will go in front of the box and that's correct. Let's keep it here. And water, water has to go behind the box because it's wrong. So you click on it, drop down menu, order, centre back. Okay, it's done. Now the student comes up to the board and selects water and it's wrong. And that's it.